Spark. Do you know how you've been commentating on this whole thing? Yeah, you didn't include your audio. I thought I had a solo. Maybe it reset when it came on back onto the stream. So apologies for that, guys. There's uh, <laughs> a bit of a bit of a flaw on my part. So you just uh, came back when I've almost uh, lost my breath. Anywho, John John's on top with a 33-4. Uh, who's on an outlap? Do you want me to do an outlap with someone saying as a... You're out Apparently of breath now. can't hear us. Can't hear us at all. Apparently not. Well, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear us on the stream. I don't know. Tenton, have you got your volume turned down? TJ okay. can hear us, so 10 10 has been weird. Alright, we're going to blame 10 10 for that one. <laughs> blame him for everything anyway, so. To be fair, he's far ahead, he's far enough ahead in the championship. I'm sure he can afford a little bit of blame there and then. Ah. Yeah, no, it's because Spark forgot to include his audio, 10 10. Very good. <laughs> Amateur hour on my part, apologies. I didn't you 10 10 when you used to commentate. <laughs> okay, so now we've got Wiggles on his outlap for the Mercedes. Currently going on the medium tyre, so in fact, if, this, if there's any time to qualify in the medium tyre, it's got to be the first session when 10 10 is bay. <laughs> if you say so, Sun God. If you say so, my friend. So I suppose I'd better make up for that by going <laughs> for another lap of Coventry with Mr. Wiggles, who is on the medium tyre. Let's see how he takes this long right-hand corner here. Tucks it in there, keeps it very neat and tidy. Whether he probably compromised a little bit of apex speed there just for the sake of tidiness. And those medium tyres, hopefully you may be able to reuse them in, so 20 times, probably not enough. Um, it as a going there to Sun God. He drops down to fourth gear, it's 24 5, so he's matched what that guy's been able to do in the Williams. So this is looking very tidy for the Mercedes as he comes round the long left hander. And I said, um, annoyed, this reminded me very much of Sepang, keeping it very steady there in that Mercedes. He drops down to four, you've got to straighten the car up and don't take too much throttle coming out of the exit, otherwise, you'll lose the rear end. But it's not such the case for Mr. Wiggles, who's kept it absolutely clean and spot on. So both almost missed his sector time there, but it's looking very, very tidy. Uh, I think, Sun God, you've already made me come on, and that was me losing my front wing. So I don't, I'm not sure if I need another one. Great to see you, Johnny B. How are you doing as Wiggles comes across the DRS zone? And here we go. He comes down to the hairpin now, and let's see how well he takes it. 
very tidy. Gets on fourth as well, just to make sure that the traction is there. Oh, but he loses the rear end a little bit. That'll cost him a couple of tenths. Down to the final corner. And let's see how Mr. Wiggles has done as he comes across the line. And it's a 44-4. So there's medium tyres not quite giving him the grip that he needs. Let's see where he stands at the end of the session. Yeah, not too bad of a lap time for Mr. Wiggles so far, but it's on a Q1, as we all know. Um, and it's all to play for at the minute. Oh, so I was asking 10, 10 if he wanted a command, so... Uh... That's fair. What command should? What command can we possibly give him? Uh, As deflated, we goes to the top. The so Scottish man who had Mayer's TD. If you say so. <laughs> well, there they go second. With oh. a. With a thirty-three. Well, Tamino now four thousandths behind deflated we. So. The usual suspects and <laughs> CTD's put my um, command in the stream chat. Very good. Me? I, I didn't. Think... No, I said TJ. I said TJ. I thought you said TD. I, <laughs> I said TJ. Very similar. Yeah, it's just one letter difference. Ten TJ, ten on his out <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm just I'm just an innocent commentator here, not cursing anyone at all. He did last week. Well, we're not going to go into that. We're not going to bring out the past. We are not. Um, we're not Williams bringing out the past uh, for its prime. Speaking of Williams, the curb and staying in fourth gear. <laughs> Don't even know that well. <laughs> right. So you've got, got Asper frogs. Asma Fogg is making his no assist debut. So just give oh, him a bit of a shout out. Absolutely. I mean, with the, he's in the Ferrari there. That's uh, certainly one of the best looking cars on the grid. Nice to see a debutant um, make his debut on this, partic on this particular tier. I think for me, this is definitely the hardest tier because being able to drive with no assist is very, very tricky indeed. As the Ferrari comes into the pitch, he didn't quite get the lap that he wanted there. So 35 1, so all these considered, it's a very good um, opening time. Let's see, how, let's see how he improves going through the rest of the season. Hopefully, it should be quite a lot. 10 turns finishes in his lap time, like you were saying. In yeah. for Williams. Done 52 6 for a second sector. And as you will probably know, Tenton is our championship leader. So where will he go? Third fastest for the time being. He got a horrible exit out of the last corner. Completely missed the apex. So I think that would have cost him a tenth and a half. So more in the bank there for the Williams. It's currently sitting pretty in third place. John John as well has just started a second lap. Let's see who else is out on the track. Mr. Wiggles... He's doing another lap on his mediums. He does a 34-0, so he's improved. Lawson is a tenth up on his Aston Martin. John John is a tenth down on his first on his first lap in the first sector. The others in sector three is people just stay out of each other's way. Ooh, a little bit wide there for John John, not ideal. Still yeah, attempts down, but purple he's... middle sector. Hmm. So it's looking relatively good. It's not a terrible lap. However, he could do with a further 10th improvement just to make a claim for his uh, statement to pole position. We know that John John is a very good qualifier, but the, as I say, the field that we've got this year is very, very close in terms of their qualifying speed. I think I remember there's about a tenth or so separating all of the top five in one race. That was an absolute joy to watch. It was almost like watching eSports. John John knows that. Yeah. Comes into the pits. He knew it didn't go the way he wanted. A bit perfect, something like that. 
53-2. Most of you get to the back and see me slide on everyone. Well, there's always room to improve, um, uh, TRC Deton. I mean, it's a very hard tier to do, so I wouldn't beat yourself up. So, 34 1 for Prev in the Mercedes. He's a tenth of his teammate, but Wiggles completed his lap on the medium, so looks like Prev has still got some lap time to find. Three drivers retiring in the pit lane, deflated 10 10. And John John, as I say, are fairly retired as well, so they must be confident on the lap time. That guy joins them as well. Yeah, the top uh, five of the top sits clearly still feeling like they're safe. I wouldn't be surprised if Mino retires on the back of that. Hales retires now in the Alpine. And speaking of Alpine, his teammate Flu has just started a lap in his in the sister Alpine. Let's see how well he gets on. Now, I think we said in a previous race, he's certainly been one of the most consistent drivers out there, but that was not just going on board with his car there. It almost looked like he locked up the tyres. Wasn't the best uh, turn four for Flu. However, let's see how far he can get up the grid. Only two drivers will go out of this session due to only 17 members starting this uh, qualifying session. So currently he's safe in 13th. But let's see how this develops across the rest of the field. He comes across to second interval now. And he's only a tenth Slightly. up on his best. Still got some time to find. Yeah, definitely needs some time in this last sector, but he's on worn tyres, so his tyres are going to be screaming at his today going through this, um, through this last sector, especially going into the hairpin. She's going into now. Goes down to first. I don't see many people doing that nowadays. Now, nah, it's almost like, you know like in a lorry and you have a crawler gear? Well, that's the whole point of first gear on these cars. Flu improves and does a 34-3, puts him in 12th. But let's see what... I think Small the Smiley is... Ooh. Yes, it's not on a time lap. I think Asthma's just keeping out of the way of people. Yeah. But that's not going to help his tyres, though. Yeah, it's only just come out of the pits, so... He'll be able to get all the rubbish off of his tyres. But at least it was uh, at least uh, very sensible of him to at least make sure he's staying out of people's way, and we always want to give credit to that where it's due. Oh, Perth just going off the track there. This will be his first lap time of the day. It's 24 9 so far in his Red Bull. I say that Red Bull, it really is a good looking car. It is quite good. Yeah. The Astus tries to stay out of the way, fair enough. Let's see how it does come into the next sector. 53-3, so this isn't too bad from the Red Bull. A bit late getting onto the power there. As the as the Alfa Romeo spins in front of it, that must have been smaller smiley, or it must actually no, I think it was Padge. Uh... Yeah, Pat. So Hale's not too confident with his setup, but you did your lap on the medium, so I wouldn't um, complain too much about that. It was relatively decent. Oh, I've just noticed Greg is going to be out in Q1. Was it? Oh, oh. and Deton's invalidated. Took way too much curb there, and that is a massive shame for the Red Bull. He's not going to have enough time to get through, which means he will start in last place and it looks like asper frog has spun his car whilst on the lap as well so greg's yeah, well, in the pit so... gonna be all right anyway so yeah so asper frog will be safe but it's all over for deton and greg longson improved i think oh no he's on another lap now two and a half times up in the first sector A little bit wide there through the long sweeping right under, but it gets good traction through the double lefts. 
Three tenths up now. This is looking very tidy for the Aston. It is. Going well so far, which will currently put him up one position so far at both slew. We've got one less, one sector left. Hopefully with enough time he may be able to find a way past Prev. And that is it for the session. The clock has run out. So let's see what the Aston can do. He's going to be safe anyway. But he'll want to get, he'll want to finish off the lap just to make sure that he... Well, it's almost like insurance you can find the time when you need it. Very good. It goes 10th yeah, for that time. Good. So lovely improvement there. Top 12 only split by a second. So a tight grid so far. Love to see that. We do. We do indeed. Smaller side is on a slow lap and obviously Deaton is on a slow lap. But you can go down. <laughs> Oh no wait, he was last one here, yeah, so he can only go up. Exactly. Third we then in first by four thousandths of a second to uh Tamina. Ten ten in P three, fairly in P four with a return to IOL. John John in P five, that guy P six, Ross in P seven. And then Joseph and Mr. Wiggles in P8 and P9 on the mediums. A long send there with a lap at the end in P10. Dayton and Greg going out in Q1 today. And we'll go into Q2. Of these qualifying sessions usually separated by about a couple of tenths. So you can tell these people really enjoy what we do and like putting on a show for everyone in this league. <laughs> And you can tell Song God is also a fan of my Pajalot joke. He's not too impressed. No. Well, to be fair, he's the king of bad dad jokes, so if I don't get the seal of approval from him, then we're clearly doing something wrong. Take you out um, with the Pajalot, taking a bit of curb. Going through turn <laughs> one. And then into turn two. Very nicely. Get on the traction as quickly as possible. And that gets you to the end of sector one. And that is a 24-7 in the first sector. Into the hairpin, hook up to the apex very nicely. And then into two very quick sweeping corners. Left hander and then quickly into the right. Downshift by three gears for Padge. And then into a tricky double left hander. Hit the apex there, get on the traction. Don't get too much on the bike, the car will go for a spin. End of sector 2 then, 53 1, into a quick chicane. Hit both apexes and then get onto the, uh, onto the traction as quickly as possible through the long right under. And then it's flat out all the way down to the hairpin. Use all the ERS and wings that you've got, open the DRS. Get as much top speed as possible, and that is 204 miles per hour. Breaking into third gear, down to 43 miles per hour. Get on the traction, and then it's one more corner to go, and then it's flat out to the line. Hooks it up nicely with a little bit of snap of over steer, open the DRS, and the bank it is a 33 9, which isn't too bad for Patch. I think that was improved on what I did in Q1. And just like that, John John is the first one to go into the 1 minute 32s. Flu almost matches Padge's time. And yeah, like you said, TD, it was so much an improvement for what he did first time. Fairly goes second with a 33-5. And who else is coming out? We've got Iros J next in the Red Bull. But nice consistent lap there from Padge. He did lose a little bit of time on the exit of the final corner. But let's see how the Red Bull handles it. Very Fairly nice, straightforward. Sir. 33.5, so he goes into third and just under 500 behind the Alpha Tauri. I don't think Ross will be too discontent with that lap. We'll definitely have to watch over his shoulder, though, I'd say, just so that it doesn't go too far down in the timing screens. Hmm. And that guy's just doing a lap on the mediums. He does a 34.1, but he had a horrible exit coming out the last corner. 
Looks like that last corner is catching quite a few people out in terms of how to get the best exit. It's that curb as well, which I think is very upsetting. You want to attack it, but it's quite punishing. Couple of invalidations. One from Tamina, one from Joseph. So we'll go with 10-10 for the time being. See what he can do in the first sector. 24-4, that's a good first sector for 10, 10. He's about two and a half, three tenths up on Pajistic so far. Hitting maximum revs coming out of the uh, of the long left hander. Keeps it in, was kept in it in sixth there. So as he comes round to the next sector, hopefully this should be within the mid 52s for where he is. 52.5, so certainly an improvement for Tenten, who did a 33.4, I think, for reference in the first qualifying session. Hopefully the Alpha gets out of the way, and he does very, very sensibly. But John John's got the 32.9 as the trademark to beat. And now, straight forward to the DRS zone. He comes and he'll get to about the 100 meter ball before he slams on the brakes. As you see now, yellows in sector three as people try and stay out of each other's way. But the Williams is hooked up very, very nicely coming down to the final corner. Very tidy there and sprints to the line. What does the Williams do? Exactly the same time. Exactly the same. Why does it say 10 tens is purple when he's in P2? <laughs> that is really because, bugging well, me. Well done, EA. Well done. I just need to say, it, it wanted me to say my, my catchphrase. What a lovely game. Yep. <laughs> so, given um, you know, we've just seen a brilliant lap there from 10-10, from should we talk about the featured driver then for this week? It, it is the man that we have just watched, 10-10. <laughs> um, the man from Scotland himself. He is 24. Winky face as he's put in his feet to driver. Mm -hmm. uh, his occupation is renewables heating engineer. So I wouldn't have a clue what he's on about when he talks about that. Uh, his hobbies and interests are modifying cars. Which I, I, I give him credit for because I like cars a lot. Uh, he, is he on controller or wheel? He's on controller, as you can, I mean wheel, as you can probably tell by his steering. It is a Fanatec CSL DD. Still don't know whether that's good or not. Um, his favourite drivers, this might make you laugh, is Frederick Rasmussen, Alex Albon and Tom Dog, which is me. So yeah, I don't know why he likes me as his favourite driver. Favourite You've track. spun that. You've spun that. <laughs> I, have, I, had, I literally had no control of it. I looked at it and I was like, what? <laughs> favourite track. Monaco, not Spa. I am KOB. So he's, apparently he's the king of Belgium. Uh, racing strengths, race pace, clean driving. Strategy and tyre management, so basically everything. Uh, season 4 goals, some wins on podiums this season would be great. Well, I think he's kind of done that. <laughs> he's um, done that convincingly well, hasn't he? Yeah, convincingly well. And his rivals are... Uh, <laughs> his rival, uh, for, for some reason, is... The Sun God. Um, yeah. Take that as you will. Hello, Damon. So Sun God will be laughing in his um, in his sitting room watching the stream at the sort of that. Get back to qualifying. It's not the best lap has been at all, really, for TB8 Tamino. It's five tenths off what Ten Ten and John John were able to manage. So don't expect him to be top in the timesheets, but it's got. I think it should be good enough to at least get him through. As the he takes 
You see that with how much of a slipstream was trying to <laughs> borrow from that Alpine. That was... Interesting. <laughs> So I get being desperate. I get being desperate for a tow. To be fair, he needs it because he knows he's down relatively on the cars in front. As he comes across the line, it's a 33-2. Looks like that tow was helping him recover somewhat. Not a bad final sector, and that's putting him into third place. Yeah, making it very closer to Joseph. So I think it was Joseph anyway. Just need to be careful. No, it was Flip. Just no. Which is nice, Fairley is also up on his best by four tenths. So that should put him up with the leaders. What does Joseph Hales do when he comes across the lane? He goes sixth, but he hasn't got the most comfortable setup in the world. Let's see what the Alpha Towery does. As he Five comes across old. the line. Fastest. And Fairley goes fastest. Where did that come from? I tell you what. I think Fell has been lying to us. He said that he hasn't been playing this game much. I think he's been lying. He, it's almost like he's heard, okay, if I could just complain, if I can do this the same way Lewis Hamilton complains about his tyres, I may have an <laughs> advantage. If I just complain that, I'm, that I haven't been doing much practice, they might believe me. He does. He does indeed. Carlos J still got. We'll go with Carlos J because no one else is on a lap. I think Joseph Hales is on a lap. He's just completed a lap. Yeah, no, but he's giving it full beans again. Oh no, he's coming to the pits. Ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was J in eighth at the minute. I did, I did say he needs to have a look over his his shoulder. Um, because he is down in 8th at the minute and we'll possibly need some improvement here for the first sector he goes what will he do 24-5 so that's a good first sector I think he's a 10th down of 10 10 at the time being so if he can keep that up that'll put him into 4th bit of a snap there what affected too much the Alpha and Mayo staying out of the way Oh, and he's been blocked there. Oh, no. And who was that by? That was by Tamino. He has so, been yeah, blocked by the Ferrari. Penalty for that one. He will. 100% they're getting a penalty for that. That guy goes second fastest. I think luckily for Irish J, he has got time for another lap. For his sake. I've just noticed, Padge has got front wing damage. It certainly isn't ideal. Uh, looks like he's had a bit of a bit of an off. I was trying to set his time, so I think that'll be it then for Padge. He won't go through. Seems that way. Is Mr. Wiggles on a lap time? No, he's not. So we'll stay with his teammate, Prev. He's, he's three, three tenths, tenths down. down now. And he's turned his ERS off. Yeah, he's backed off. He's wait. He's going to go for another run. I don't know if he's got the time for another run there. I love the yellow flags in this game because we literally can't see anything <laughs> about how much time we've got left. Smaller smile is on the lap time. Definitely needs some improvement. Well, uh, two and a half, I was Jay best. got blocked in. Yeah, and Tamino comes into the pits to retire, and he's got 36 seconds left, so if Smaller Smiley can improve, actually you know he's got to find a second on TV8 Tamino to be able to go through. I think Tamino's crashed. Well, yeah, because his, his time is showing is faster than Yeah, flu. so I think Tamino's crashed. Yeah, he must be. Oh, and Small the Smiley Ooh, goes wide, he locks, oh, up. locks up. And that'll be it for his session. Prev has reached the line, so he's going for it again. Longson is approving. 
two and a half yeah, tenths of a minute. Yeah, he's Here's Aston. Needs about seven tenths of a minute to go above flu. And it's only a tenth and a half of a minute, so it's not enough at the time being. He needs a mighty last sector. I'll keep an eye on Prev and see how well he does. Mr. Wiggles goes He's three fastest. tenths off on his best. Uh, but I get Prev through at the time being. Hooking the apex up very nicely there by Longson. Through the final corner he goes very nicely. Open to DRS. Can't go above anyone at the time being, but that is solid qualified. 34-3, so not too bad. Asper Frog goes 11, so very well done to him on his debut. Prev gets through for the 33-7, and that bumps Flu out of the qualifying session. So there we have it. That's, uh, that's curtains. Joseph Hales is improving. And he goes fastest. Nicely done. Top six or seven of this tier are going to be so, so close. I think Deflated We didn't have the best Q2. But I'll just take you through the um, the orders. I think TB8 has, um, to me now, has crashed out. But in terms of the slowest five drivers, we have Flew in the Alpine. Asper Frog on his debut for 12th in the Ferrari. Very good lap from him. Padge 13th in the Alfa Romeo. Small Smiley 14th in the second Alfa Romeo. Alonso just couldn't find enough time to improve and goes 15th in the Aston Martin. Nine drivers go through to the final session and it's going to be so, so close between at least the top seven cars. I re it was going to be the man, the myth, the legend, Joseph Hales. Flirted beat. Comes I think that comes naturally when you're in a house. <laughs> we'll go with deflated then seeing as uh, he is first out well it's like it's going to be an interesting one because deflated we from what we've heard like in the build up to this race, he's been a bit of a merchant uh, for time trial over here, so I'm expecting <laughs> to really be on at least the front row. He is on controller as well, and this is a bit of a controller track, so I'll definitely help yeah. him. Certainly, pad heaven. That's why I like this track on this game. <laughs> yeah, I hate, I'm on the wheel, I hate this track. Mix of emotions. Yep. But that's what we want, right? <laughs> I should just get a wheel. Should I? On... I should just I, put... I'm not saying that you should. I should just I'm put my wheel just on my wheel. bed. Seeing as my TV's on my bed, uh, on the wall. I should just put it on my bed and just drive with my, de my wheel on my bed. I should, I should put. Fanboy. I think I should put my wheel in my car and actually use my car to drive. Maybe. Maybe you should. It's a good Go idea. Take deflated wee slap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Food to everyone then. Downshifting a lot. So I'm not using too much of a brake because you can use the engine brake in a for car. Nicely through the first couple of corners through to the end of sector one then and it's 24-2 Jesus Christ that's a very good third sector for deflated Wii I, I did say that it was a TT merchant <laughs> through the two sweeping corners then keeping it is sixth flat out down to fifth keeping it very close to the kerb hitting the apex of the first left and the second left It's 52-0. It's a very good lap by Deflated. And this... He's done the red ball and just saved his best right now, wasn't he? Absolutely. Oh, no, oh. But he's lost it! I don't believe... Oh! Oh, and Joseph spun as well. 
<laughs> Show this and deflated spun at exactly the same point. Anyways, John John then is going to be the first one to set a lap time. So it's 5 2 9. 10 beats it straight away. Deflated, obviously, with a 46 3. Uh, which is a representative at the time being. Top f uh, John John and Irish Jay yeah, split by a tenth of a second at the time being. John, uh, Johnny B says oil on the track, that might be why Joseph and Deflated Spud. <laughs> Mr. Weagles through that corner very nicely. Didn't have any twitches at all. Seven, no, eighty-seven thousandths of a second. Quick maths. Oh, <laughs> and deflated these one wide once again, so that means his lap's over. Will Joseph complete this lap? He is going to complete it. Just maybe get a banker lap time in. So it's a bank lap time. Puts him fifth for the time being. Yeah, exactly. So if he's got a good lap time, then it might, if he invalidates on his last lap time, it could keep him a bit up as fairly goes extremely slightly behind 10-10. 39 thousandths of a second. Then starting his lap time in the Mercedes. Oh, a little bit of a snap of oversteer. Yeah. What a bit ideal going down the pit straight. Through the first corner he goes in. This is the apex a little bit, but that definitely doesn't compromise his time too much. There's a lot of lines you can take through the first corner. Fourteen six. That's a very good lap time around here. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> I'm just trying to ignore it. I can't be talking about it on stream. Three, three, four. It's like what I said, though, isn't it? Really, Joseph setting that lap time is a puff Oh, well, that looked really nice from off board. Looks like he got on the traction well. 
24-2. Can't remember what 10 10 did actually. <laughs> oh, very wide, very wide there. I don't see many people getting at that. I think it's the tenth down on what Ten Ten did. So it's definitely going to be up there for Mr. Wiggles, but he needs to find some time in the last sector. Um, I don't think they can hear you again, Spark. No, I can't hear you again. Just turn it on and on, maybe. Oh, Miggle, Mr. Wiggles goes fastest. Get, Mr. Getting the slipstream from Prev has made him go fastest. Uh, we'll sort the party out just at the end of qualifying. Uh, I'll restart the party and see if that works. 10 10 starting his lap time with about 10 seconds to go. I haven't heard you for about 10 15 minutes, apparently. Uh, who's closest on the lap time? Joseph. 24 3. 52. Two, so on the tenth down on Mr. Wiggles at the time being. If he keeps this up, that'll put him into P2, maybe P3. Can you hear me now? Okay, yes, I'll we can. We can. I'm good. What will Joseph oh, well, do I've then? Quite a lot. Into the hairpin. It's only tenth up on his best though. We know that was obviously worn tyres though. Through the final corner, very nicely taking all the kerb and goes second. Oh, it's a 32.5. Good lap. Nicely ten, ten, done ten, there ten for Jordan. Deflated is on a lap time. Where will Deflated go? This is looking quick. It does, go fast What about the Williams of that guy? Has it validated? Turns into the line. Oh, Tenta just missing it out. And I was Jay, fourth. Dodge on fifth. And look how close that is. Just three tenths covers the top seven. Four tenths splits the top eight. That is unbelievable. Can you see why now I was so excited for this session? Just over a tenth covers the top five. That is mental. That is that is brilliant. Lovely session. Holy cow! My thoughts exactly. Oh, that could have been a costly error for that, that guy. He he didn't give his teammate t uh, slip shame, could you, which probably would have got him pearl. Um, but it is deflated. He was on pearl with ten ten in P two. Mr. Wiggles P3, Iris J P4, John John P5, Joseph in P6, respectable time. Uh, only two tenths off, but he's in P6. Fairly P7 on his return to IRL. That guy in P8, and Prev in P9. Tamino in P10, but obviously we can't see him because he crashed in Q2. TD, you took us away. I, will... I was going to let you do it, but if you want me to do it... It was me last uh... week, so I'll let you take it. Ah, was you last week? It I was. Remember. So here we go, everyone. Five red lights coming on for the Chinese Grand Prix. Lights out, and we are underway, and it looks like fairly even Steven's start. To play, we has got a brilliant start ahead of him in the house as they all go round into the first corner. Oh, and there's contact as well made from the Ferrari, and that's put TV8 Tamino down to the bottom. That guy as well has also been caught up in the Williams. 
So already some first corner troubles for some of the field. And straight away, Deflated Wii is getting away from all the carnage oh, behind white. him. Wiggles up into fourth. See white. Three whites coming into done. turn four. How's this going to come out? Oh. That's going to be so, so close. But they did well not to hit each other. And Mr. Wiggles has done brilliantly well there to stay in fifth. And Joseph Hales may be going around the outside. No, not quite. Everything, most people starting on the hard compound tyre. So clearly this is going for a two-stop race. Deflated we ahead by six tenths of a second from Iros J. Ten ten in third, John John fourth, Wiggles fifth, and Joseph L sixth. Fairly in seventh, Prev in eighth. Sadly, that guy and Tamino making contact on the first lap has put them both down to 14th and 17th respectively. Wiggles now two tenths behind it. Oh, John John's lost it as well on the last corner. And oh, and another drive's off. Fairly's off. Fairly's off, off, well. off as well. They're dropping like stones so far this race. It's just been the first lap of carnage so far. And yellow's coming out all the way. So it looked a bit slow, so I thought they might have thrown out a safety car. So we've already lost about two or three of the best championship contenders. As you see, Mr. Wiggles overtaking Joseph Hales. And that is the end of the first lap. Iros J up into second place. And this was just the first lap, TD. I think I might need a breather. Yeah, apologies. It wasn't the last corner. It was the one of the last um, corners there for the DRS. So that was sort of what I meant to say. So apologies there. Mistakes were made. But now we have Deflated Wii leading Iros J. 10-10, Wiggles and... Joseph not too far behind. Prev up to sixth in the Mercedes. Flew up to seventh. Asma Frog up into ninth on his debut in the Ferrari. Lon S. Lonson in tenth. And Tamino recovering now into eleventh place. John John and Fairley though had their work cut out for them yet again. As things are starting to stabilise somewhat. Oh, but Deflated Wii has got a horrible exit coming out of the right-hander there. As we see uh, Iros J going for the lead and he's taking it. Nice, nice bit of opportunist driving there for the Red Bull, who has now gone into the lead. How I must Jay is from that, I will never know. Yep, seven to the seven to the first in two laps. I mean, that kind of thing will make even Edson Senna jealous. As Deton spins in the back. A deflated we needs a comfortable race here because you might remember last time he was he had a collision with Tamino which sadly cost him any chance of a win but with 10-10 they were about 40 points ahead in the championship he can afford to play things a little bit safe however with Iros J leading the train it's it might work out in deflated we's favor because that way he'll have the energy to deploy and getting away from these cars is so far is quite difficult really to be able to um, get out of the DRS unless you have a significant pace advantage. But things are now starting to stabilize up at the front as we see Smaller Smiley at the back racing with the Alpine there off Flu. Let's see if he's going to throw one down to the inside. Oh, he thinks it. about it. Oh, but the Alpine goes wide. Alfa Romeo's up the inside and it comes across. Long left oh, hand and the Alpine has to go the high ground. Outside. Yeah, he can't. But oh, he he's keeping it. Oh, impressive glove, contact. He to, oh, he has to back out and he just lost the car. Slight contact. Oh. I can't say it's to one of the driver's faults, but that's really a compromised smile around down to 12th place. No, racing incident. It's just what happens when you go wheel to wheel that closely. Sometimes mistakes happen. And now, with 6 tenth advantage up at the front, Iros J is let's see how close the drs bat is cut is what allowed to play we to close up to the red ball Gigi looking at about four tenths the advantage that he's gained to me now now up into eighth place as it's almost like to stir the top five cars through that first corner there to me now now up into eighth right behind blue so it's not over yet for the ferrari that despite that first lap crash is coming back ever so slightly towards the towards the field. Prev now three seconds behind the battle between the, the top five so far, which I have to say is looking very, very spicy Ooh, indeed. Oh, that's a shame for the debutante in the Ferrari. It's that final corner which catches a lot of people out. 
so much weaving and might as well be a knitting club. <laughs> um, yeah, admittedly, there's quite a little bit of weaving there, but who cares? I want to see people get their elbows out on this track just as long as they keep it relatively clean. Prep falling away from the top five, who looks so far to be just in a league of their own. And I have to say, it's so much fun just to watch them all come together like this. Lot four then, we'll get the position changes up. And Iris J up three positions. S Long, so with a very good start, up six positions, up into P9 at the time being. So good start for the uh, Aston Martin driver. And Fairlit and John John are the ones with the most positions lost, down eight positions. And that is 100% not what Fairly wanted. He's 40 points down on 10-10 in P2. And he needs to get points on 10-10 if he wants to go for this championship. It really just go to show that the way to win the championship is just pure on consistency. Because now Iros J's... Now the 10-10 rather is a really good position where it's not necessarily have to win. As I said beforehand, he can afford to sit behind this pack while everyone else makes the mistake around here, provided it got him points, and provided it gets him a lot more points than his rival, because he's got more than a, a wins advantage in the con in the in the driver's standings. So he can afford to be very very patient with what comes on around him. But so far, he's doing well to hang on as part of the top five. Tamino, Tamino getting past flu. Seventh. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> up into P7 then and we will be wanting to get past Prev to get into P6 and try and catch up to the top 5 who are in a bit of a league of their own at the minute to going to have to make up four, more than 4 seconds um, on Joseph Hales and the rest of the pack and really that spin he's, I have to say he's recovered very well from that given that the little contact he made on the first out where he could have been 10 seconds back. Right now, he's only about four. It looks like Joseph Hales has made a mistake in Ooh, the yeah. Alpine. So it looks like he's lost his DRS. But not the best exit, though, for Tamino out of that right-hander. He's got to play it careful here. And, yes, he's about four tenths back now from the Mercedes. So this should be checkmate for um, Prevenel against the Ferrari. Got the DRS. Can What's Fred doing to defend? Is he going to throw it to the inside? Yes, he does. A little bit wide, Almost but a... nothing too bad about that. And that is coming up to wait sixth place. That was a clean overtake and at a time where he really needed. And with Hales' mistake, he's fallen 1.8 seconds behind Mr. Wiggles. A deflated Wii, only three tenths behind the red ball now. This is looking very, very tasty as well in this first session. And Yellow's in Sector 3, and that is Paul Padge, who has had a moment in his Alfa Romeo. I think he may have damage on his car. Not the cleanest there for Padge. Damage in one of the qualifying sessions and possibly damage in the race. But it is He's on the lap six. Too much. He's been watching me too much. That's why he's destroying his front wings. <laughs> Deflated Wii and Iros J are absolutely together. Only four tenths separates them now coming into the second DRS zone, which is the big one. If he can stay with him through this sector, if he's within about five or four tenths for somebody who's just over it, then he could have a chance to overtake the Red Bull coming into the hairpin. I'll say, very What's well done for these. And Iros J knows it's coming. You see how he moved to the right-hand side track. He clearly knows that the Haas is coming. So it just Ooh. depends on how he plays it. He's not going to go for it now. I just noticed. Deflated. With a flashing red light. Oh! Oh, Iris Chase! Made a mistake! He held that very He's well. He's going to drop it now to fourth. And that puts Deflated Wee into the lead. Held it very well, though. And it's still on the back of his train. So it hasn't lost too much time. But we'll still oh, definitely be annoyed. It's like musical chairs, the way they changed there. <laughs> I have to say, he held that very, very well, didn't he? I don't think I could do that. <laughs> if it were me, that would have been gone. That, my rear end, that would have been gone. Yep. <laughs> if, it were, if, if, if it were the sun god, it would have been gone a mile away. 
fucking oh, he this looks to the inside, inside of the inside. Mercedes. Red Bull and the Mercedes. Where have we seen that before? So it's Team LH and Team Verstappen. Calm down, guys. <laughs> I imagine I was there with hoping that Mr. Wiggles just falls out of the DRS attention because that means he could have a chance of going for a move. But it looks like Mr. Wiggles is going to get the DRS. But it doesn't look like Mr. Wiggles is uh, flashing red at the back of his car, so it looks like he's still got plenty of energy. So he can afford to deploy a little bit more just to catch up, just in case he needed to. There wasn't a big set out of that corner, though, as 1010 now follows up on deflated Wii. The Scotsman, who is already 40 points in the lead in the World Championship from his nearest rival, which is John John, who is still down in 12th place. Far from ideal from the McLaren. Just saw that, just going towards the end of the straight. Mr. Wiggles and Irish J are both flashing on the IRS. So if Deflated and 1010 can pull away, and Deflated's flashing now, so 1010. The only one in the top four who isn't who's got a good battery at the time being. Yeah, the lead is still very much closely together. Iros J nearly a second back from this lot now, so he's got to close up as this become what was a five-way battle is gonna turn into a three-way battle as Prev has gotten his way past back back past the Ferrari T V A Tamino. So the Ferrari so um, had a bit of a Hit a bit of a bump in the road in terms of his comeback strategy. However, it's not over yet. There could be loads of safety cars or whatever just to throw things up. But he's now nearly seven seconds behind the top four. This will, uh, this will be helping Trev's teammate, Mr. Wiggles, so that another competitor can't join this battle. Mm hmm. What can Tenton do then? Gets a good exit out of this corner. Will he be able to go for a move into a hairpin? I think he's close enough for an overtake here. We'll have the overtake up like... into the RS. Deflated he's not flashing defense. either, but, but deflated Wii as he goes round to the outside. Can he make it stick? It's across a tiny hairpin. Oh, and he looks like he's got the move done. Very nice. Even though, yeah, very, very nicely done. And now the championship leader takes the lead of this Grand Prix. Prevent when have we ever heard that this season? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, yeah, very clean stuff from the top, from the top two. Uh, let's like see if the Williams... See, really, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if the Williams can get away as Tamino makes his way back past Prev. So he's still got a load of catching up to do. He's now over seven seconds behind the lead pack, who are eight running absolute now. eight seconds. You're right, yeah. And that is—they're all running. I know Tamino's fast, but that is one big margin to gain. He needs a safety car. It would be ideal for him, but I can't guarantee it. Hmm. I have to say the exit that the exits that 1010 are, is getting out of those corners, it's just been phenomenal so far. But however, that one wasn't particularly good. As deflated we now, the ball's going to be back in his court to save some energy. And look at look at how much straight line speed he's got. He's just pulled a, a good two and a half seconds on deflated there. I wonder whether we spent that whole time in the in the queue just saving Ooh. up some energy into play. We goes wide. And that gives and the opportunity to Wiggles, maybe. And crucially, he would have dropped outside of DRS, so Wiggles and he just has. has to be patient. He's just got to stay with him. Falling out of DRS now. Oh, Jesus. Hales gets his first time penalty. It's very close stuff. So even if there's the slightest mistake, it's not the end of the world yet for um, TD. 2.5 seconds on the straight. Two, uh, so he's back 0 with... 0.25 tenths, not seconds. <laughs> you know what I mean. 
Yeah, we all know TD. We know. <laughs> Seven tenths now, the gap between the top two. He's got to be careful with his entry on corners because as much as he'd love to get past, he can't be too ambitious. And he's about lap 10 now on this, on this race. And this is getting closer and closer to the point where the tyres will start to drop off in terms of usage. It's usually in about, if you were playing on the mediums, you're coming in about lap 12. So you're about six laps away from the pit window opening. And crucially, Deflate Wee is going to have DRS against 1010. Um, so he's going to be able to defend himself against Mr. Wiggles. Iros J is fourth in this battle. I have to say, these, these, despite the mistakes they made, the fact that they're running so, so close together is it's a real testament. incredible of all of their paces. Yeah, I know mistakes have obviously happened uh, before for other drivers, however, it takes nothing away from their ability. Frankly, I couldn't do this. <laughs> you couldn't do this without the mistakes, Spark, never mind the speed. <laughs> I have such good friends. <laughs> Demon does have a good point there, but 1010 has good straight line speed over Wii. Hmm. So maybe he's running a little less downforce in his setup. It's going to make it hard for Wee to be able to try and get past him. Um, he's got very good down. traction, I think, the Williams. Yeah, Tenter always seems to have good traction. We've seen it very commonly this season. He hasn't made too many mistakes, such as spins or half spins, really. Yeah, and on that point, I, I can't remember the last time actually watching... Um, Ten Ten actually make a mistake. Yes, um, Demon. Surprisingly, I do have friends, <laughs> including your mum. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just been cancelled. <laughs> that has tickled me, is that? <laughs> End of my commentary career. <laughs> Yeah, deflated gain in a tenth and a half with the DRS then, so that definitely shows that ten times mm. got some good straight line speed. Oh, yellow flag, and I think that's S Longton. Oh, Mr. Wiggles there, a little bit wide. That's Hales, that's Joseph Hales that spun. Oh, yeah. I was looking at Longton at the, uh, the long right hander, but Joseph has spun as well. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what Damon John put? John's <laughs> John John's lost it again. He's now down 13. He's not having a tidy it's race. It's not going it's well John for John John, is it? No. It's going from bad to worse. His championship battle. My end of the season bonus is gone. I never even had one, so... <laughs> so I guess suppose if there was a plan for me to have a bonus, it's all gone now. I didn't know about this bonus. Where's mine? <laughs> <laughs> and my mum's won't give him a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> the fact is very closer to 10 10 today. I mean, to this time. Yeah. Four and a half times, but what can he do with the DRS? Skin <laughs> in about a tenth. Oh, oh he was so up. close. Nearly went up the back of him there. I thought that was going to be contact. But he did very, very well there not to hit the Williams. But yeah, he has got an opp another opportunity into turn one. Is he going to go for it? No, he's not. Well, he's looking to the outside slightly, though. Yeah, he looks... He could have been close enough to put it on the outside. Can I get and, uh, done, I think... No. I think um, Sun God's given you um, the reason why you haven't um, got a bonus because you spend it all on FIFA points. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd actually spend it on fuel for my car to get to work. <laughs> Either that or Bitcoin for F1 liveries, said no <laughs> one ever. <laughs> no one would ever buy Bitcoin liveries. <laughs> 
But to be fair, I would like. Wouldn't it be nice to have a nice sofa for F1 Live? Again, said no one ever. I'd buy helmets with the pit coins. <laughs> helmets um, and liveries, probably. At this moment in time, I've had a, a different helmet for every single race this season. And that is going to continue. <laughs> Mr. Williams is a lot closer to, to deflate it. Not going to be able to make the move though. The play we still flashing, the Mercedes isn't flashing, and the Williams isn't flashing. Didn't see what Irish Jay was on. Um, the Red so Bull's, the Red Bull's flashing He's though. He's flashing, yeah. So, Mr. Wiggles is in an ERS flashing sandwich. Interesting, yeah, we're coming up to lap 14 now, as Johnny B makes a good point in the chat. This is where the tyres will start to die. Be interesting to see when people pit now because really around that 14 that's when you're thinking about pitting so i reckon we could get some undercuts coming soon so i've got notes every one of them is silent in the <laughs> in their group party <laughs> and no wonder you have to concentrate and especially given how close the gap is between all of these guys they cannot afford to put a foot wrong and tamino has boxed for medium tyres. Early stop. 15 trying laps to get to some her. form of trying to get some form of undercut. Fifteen laps on a medium tyre is a long way to go. So his tyres are gonna be screaming at him at the end. Yeah. They that will guy be... getting past Flu. Flu's gone for a spin at the double left hander. Seventh and eighth for the Alpines. Wiggles very close to deflated. Three tenths now. So oh deflated wig goes a little bit wide. That could give the Mercedes an opportunity. Oh, and it just about gets good traction to stay in the DRS as well. Oh, Mr. Wiggles. And Wiggles comes in. Now this will so be that... interesting. This is the start of the pit stops. It's time. We are in pit stop heaven right now. And where will Mr. Wiggles come if... out? Because he don't want to come out in any traffic if he wants to go for an undercut. I think he might come out just behind the Mercedes and the Alpha Tauri here. This may not be well placed. He's out behind the Alpha Tauri. But he has got so about a have... 1.5 second gap. So I don't think he'll be affected too much. But when he catches up to the Alpha Tower, it needs to get the move done. I mean, he needs to get that done ASAP Rocky. As Joseph Hales goes for a spin in his um, Alpine after making another pit stop. Bit of a scruffy race from Joseph Hales, it has to be said. Yeah, it's not been amazing so far, but it is only halfway through. Oh, to play, we've made a mistake. Oh yes. He's dropped to third now. But he is right on the back of uh, Iris J. Both got DRS. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a godsend for 10-10. He goes down to the inside. He should be able to make the move stick. Is it time for him now to come in? Oh, the I mean, switch back lose from out. Iris J. Can't get it yeah, done. I think... What will they do now? Oh, that was close. Oh, the by rebel Russia. goes in. And 10, 10, 10 in as well. I Everyone think they know that they are the under pressure from Mr. Wiggles, who has got the move done on AMS, AMS fairly. So what will it's happen there compared to Wiggles? We're just looking at 10, 10. He's held up in the pits. Oh, I know. I think it was a, a slight glitch. Into turn one then. 10 is coming out of the pits. Mr. Wiggles there. Mr. Wiggles around the outside. He's done them! He's done it, but can he keep it on the track? He has done. And Mr. Wiggles needs to get uh, a good gap with these warm tyres compared to 10 10. And that is Mr. Wiggles into a provisional P1. Well, if you needed um, if you needed proof why going early can 
give you the undercut. That's definite proof right there. That's gotten Wiggles right into the lead. And considering 1010 hasn't made a single mistake almost throughout this race, running a bit of strategy there for the Mercedes, who finds himself in the net lead of this Grand Prix now. We still have to wait for 1010 to come in and box. I'm in the <laughs> That guy. Yeah, no, not that guy. I mean, deflated. deflated. Way, yeah. <laughs> just realised what I said there. You're just trying to say all of them, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I get I get I get a bonus for some god if I name every driver in the stream. <laughs> ten ten. DRS is falling out of DRS. He'll have to warm up his tire. He'll be warming up his tires though. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And Deflated yeah. does pit now. I imagine Prev... Prev stays out, interestingly. But Deflated him, where will he come out compared to Mr Wiggles? Well, he's not going to come out ahead of him, I'll tell you that for free. He's long behind. And he's, he's well behind Iris J as well. And that error that's, that he made... That's it. ...is costly. Very costly. That's put him in a net fourth. Tamino's made about three seconds by going in three laps earlier on those medians, but he's going to have a harder time at the end. Arguably, um, according to Sanger, DRS did most of the work there. But now Wiggles has put himself in the hot seat by going uh, quicker on the pit stop strategy. Well, I have to say, for, well, fair play to him for the, um, on the Mercedes, but we've still got 11 laps to go and anything can happen in this Chinese Grand Prix. Just don't go away because the top four, I imagine, will be bunching up together very, very soon. Gap 1.1 seconds between these two, and Mr. Wheels is. Oh! And what did is... I just say? And that is costly. That is costly. And Iris J is down the inside of him now and gets the move. And that is 10 10 back into the lead. But who will have the DRS out of these two? It is Mr. Wiggles and I was dead, but both have it. So who will go into this hairpin in the lead? A little bit. I was dead. Keeping off there. And all that hard work Mr. Wiggles did has now Down gone to toilet. pieces. Down the toilet. It's As he wiggles his way back down to a net third place. He plunged the As toilet Jade does as, the... for Sun God, I'd say. As Iros J does the fastest lap of the race. So trying to gain on 10-10 then. Oh, they're five tenths. Six tenths now. Six I... tenths before he gets into the DRS, yeah. Yeah. So he needs to get a move on Iros J if he wants to try and get this race win. We haven't actually seen a win for Iris J this season, surprisingly. Um, just hasn't been the season for him so far, but this is looking like a much more uh, comfortable race for the Red Bull driver. Mr. Wiggles making another mistake as TV8 Tamino goes for a spin, I think. Yeah, Tamino going for yeah. a spin. Puts that guy up into sixth. Ooh. Sun God saying, Prev going for softs. That could be an interesting, interesting strat. Strategy. If he does go for that. And Mr. Wiggles is 1.4 seconds down now. So he's made another an mistake. Yeah, it could see an opportunity for Deflated to get close. Can't get there for the time being. No. Prev comes into a pit. Put on the medium tyre. Fastest lap from deflated Wee now. And they're just Trenton. before. There we go. So, yeah, he's on the mediums now. Deflated Wee passes Wiggles. Wiggles is not enjoying those medium tyres, is he? Oh, and he spun it! 
And just like that, Wiggles has spun and he's dropped off the lead pack. And that's such a shame for someone who put in a lot of laps to make sure he got into the lead. He sadly has all been unraveled by a few mis tiny mistakes. And sadly, that for him, that puts nails him down in fourth. And that has put... It's effectively a three-horse race now between the top three. That's 10-10, Iros J and Deflated Wee. Wiggles loses it and loses about five seconds as a result. Yeah, he's just not looking good on these mediums. Oh, it's so un unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. However, it's racing. Mistakes happen. It was not commentator's curse, Johnny B. I don't know what you're talking about. Appreciate the top two drivers running out of energy fast. Actually, no, I rush to play. We run out of energy. We only have 10 10, which, as we may be able to see, come across here. We have Tamino, who is eight tenths behind, behind that guy. And he's got a lot of ground to make up in his Ferrari. Tam Tamino's going to be struggling at the end of his race. Yeah, those tyres will be dead. He's already done six laps on these mediums. So his tyres are going to be getting close to Crane already and he's got another eight laps to go. Well, at least he'll have a lighter car and more rubber in track. Yeah, true. But those few mistakes will have taken much out of his tyres as well. As things are just starting to stabilise up at the front and we see 10-10 who took advantage of a little bit of carnage last time out <laughs> in the USA to win the Grand Prix. And so far, has put a foot wrong and he's sitting quite pretty in the lead. However, the gap between himself and Iris J is only 1.5 seconds now. When do you really Wait, see we... it at a mistake from 10-10 now this season? I, I, I don't can't... think I've seen a mistake from... I can't name one. I can't name one either. This speaks volumes about his consistency that he's shown. John John's still down in 12th. And that's going to be 65 yeah. points to 10 10 if John John stays in 12th. And that, that is w massive. Wiggles will lose 13 points, so he'll be 58 behind. That guy will lose 15, so he'll be 92 behind. Iros J will lose 7, so he'll be 84 behind. So it looks like 10 10 is getting down the nice. Inside. Oh. Flew keeping it on the outside. Very nice from Flu. So it's not over yet, though. Looks like the Alpha Tower is still in it. They're going wheel to wheel, coming down into turn 4. The Alpha and... Tower sticks it down to the inside and makes the move stick. Good drive in there. Very nice. Padge comes into the pits. <laughs> yeah, Padge sadly fairly, in. Um, trying to make a comeback really after we spin on lap one. He needs more than eighth place though, doesn't he? Yeah, but I, d I don't think he'll be too disappointed on his return to racing. <laughs> Now things considered, not too bad. Could have been worse. Yeah, certainly coming back after that first lap collision, just the top three now separated by 3.3 seconds as Padge makes another mistake in his cold, hard tyres. And just the leaders now coming round to that part where Padge made the mistake. Hopefully, I'm sure Padge will get out of the way nicely. So we go 1.5 now, the gap between each of the top blue drivers. Now 1.7. It's bunching up now when you get near the end of the race. And Deflated Wii has only got one more extra lap, lap of tyres of life over these two. But the question is, how much difference does that realistically make? 
Not too much at the time being. Not too much at all, it seems. But the hunt for the win is still on. As a gap now, 1.4 almost between the top two. Looks like things are starting to go. Starting to come a little bit closer now. The top three have just been absolutely brilliant. While sadly mistakes have cost um, other drivers in that. In that earlier battle, do you think commentates curses for M3? Is I, I, I'm not, I'm not commentating on anything, Demon. <laughs> Any speculation about commentators curse is absolute smack. You've done it twice like after any... this, Mark. I ain't saying it, 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 ain't, it ain't happening, mate. It ain't happening. <laughs> it's like anything that comes out of William Story's mouth, absolute rubbish. <laughs> If you don't know who that is, Google Rich Energy. <laughs> you see Smaller Smiley up against um, the, the Alphapine of Flu. Padge coming out on soft tyres. So I imagine he's probably going for fastest lap. Gap stabilising at the front somewhat. There's the gap between the top three is now 2.8 seconds between them. Not too long before we start getting in each other's DRS zone. <laughs> Go on, Spark, don't roll back. I won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if a man is guaranteed to be eaten on the stream, it is TD himself. I'm not eating. Either that or he's vaping. No, I am eating. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was never. I was never in any doubt, to be honest, mate. 1.1 seconds now between Deflated Wee and Iros J. So it's looking, getting much, much closer now. I hope they probably by the next lap we'll probably see one of these cars in each other's DRS. But 1010 just doing exactly what he needs to do and just about keeping that gap at bay. Needs to keep it that way, really. Yeah, you know, deflated Wii, he's using that extra lap of tyres to good effect, so he's because he's now 0 0.9 seconds behind, as we see Fairley has made a mistake in his Alpha Tauri, drops down to 10th place. So got John John behind him in the McLaren. See Small and Smiley versus Flu. Not much to report there. Gap now 7 tenths of a second between Iris J and deflated Wii. And that's going to be music to 1010's ears because if those two waste time battling each other, he'll just get off into the distance and take the win. Second and third flashing as well. I can't see any flashing there on the Williams, so it looks like he's saving, he's saving energy very, very well. Now, crucially, Deflated Weave could fancy himself second place here. Is right behind the Red Bull and crucially is in DRS range. Flips are open right now. So yeah, absolutely. John John could very well sniff a point. He's three seconds behind, so it just depends how quickly he's able to close up. Oh, a little tail happy there for the halves on his exit. Very tidy. As Small and Smiley passes Flu. Three tenths now between second and third. Yellow's in sector three. I think Tamino. that's the Ferrari. Yep, that's Tamino again. And Prev passes him to take six. One point four seconds in the gap now between the top two. Deflated Wheat is right with the Red Bull. Could he even go for a win? It still just depends on how quickly he's able to clear him. You've got to be so careful with the line that you take through those long left-handers. They'll absolutely kill your tyres. And the gap is like a pendulum changes every time. And 10-10 losing a little bit of time there. So the gap now is 1.2. But crucially for Deflated Wheat... He's now 
about a five, four, four or five tenths now. Yeah, four tenths now behind the Red Bull. He may be close enough to pull off a potential overtake. Maybe either the hairpin or at the first corner. Let's see what the Haas does. I think plenty of straight line speed. Is he going to chuck it down to the inside? Yes, he is. Deflate Wee goes for it. He comes across to the hairpin, but he goes wide, and that's going to be brilliant news for 1010. It would have made up some time because of that. Actually, it's only a couple of tens now that I mention it, but a bit ambitious there, but he still had to go for the move. Lovely bit of racing from these both not to hit each other. Three laps to go. Tenten just needs to keep it in a straight line, to be honest. Just let these two waste time fighting each other. The little tail happy there for the Red Bull. One point five between the top two. He needs DRS to be able to defend against the Haas, and I've got a feeling that Deflated Wee is coming through at the end of this lap. It'll be way too ambitious to save. <laughs> Commentator's curse is not a thing. I don't care what you say. 1.3 now between the top two. <laughs> Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow and, yellow and sector two. So I think that was probably Tamina making another mistake. That hat is so close. But it wasn't the best exit. That's going to drop him back. So, yeah, I'll probably jinxed it again. <laughs> Commentator's curse. It's not real. <laughs> S. Longson spins it in his Aston Martin. And Prevenel, actually, the gap between 6th and 10th is interesting. They're all covered by about two, about three or so seconds. If Tamino can pass him, there'll be some solace to his weekend. Yellow's in Ooh, sector 3 slow. as Blue loses it. And that gets tons of the point. This is the penultimate lap. And you should look at Deflay Wee so eager to try and get past that Red Bull. But it's been brilliant defensive driving so far for the Mario Roche. This is going to be a very close finish, at least between second and third. But it looks like 10 10, as long as these two battle each other, they'll have the win more or less covered. But the cool question is now who is going to, get on, who's going to go into the second step of the podium? Is it going to be the Red Bull or the Haas? Uh, I think the Haas. You reckon the Haas? Yeah. I wouldn't put it past him. He has got the slightly fresher tyre as Padge goes for another spin. John John now into 10th. Fairly in 9th. Mm. Oh no, it's a flame. We has lost it. He spins out that last corner, then <clears> nails <throat> him down in third place. Music <laughs> to Iros J's ears. Um. As I was saying, <laughs> I think that's put the nail in the coffin. That's that. That looks like it's going to be it for this race. Apparently, commentator's curse is still a thing. If, if, that's, if, if that's not commentator's curse, <laughs> that's the most commentator's curse thing you can ever get. It's not like I'm trying to do this. It was me. I literally went, oh, I think the player's going to get P2 and then he spins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so, yeah, I'm going to blame you for that one. <laughs> so we're going to go on board with the race leader. We might be up. I don't know if we're able to... Actually, no. Able's not the right word. Yellow in Sector 1. And that's the Alpha Tower going for another spin. That's fairly. That's going to bring up John John into ninth. Has he put a foot... Yeah. He hasn't put a foot wrong, really, has he? No, he's been absolutely perfect. While everyone else... The yeah, curse is an, is an active thing. You don't choose it. Very true. But anywho, we're going to go on board with the Williams, who is so far going to ratchet up his 
fifth win of the season and is fourth and on the trot. Is, and that's a record as well. No one in IRL has done four in a row. So here we have the Scottish Max Verstappen of this year <laughs> is coming through the final corner now. And while everybody else around him crumbled, the same story. This man did not put a foot wrong. 1010 comes across the line to win the Chinese Grand Prix and take another commanding step towards the championship. Iros J comes through in second place. Deflated Wee comes through in third. Mr. Wiggles in fourth. And that guy, very quiet and strong, ready to come through in fifth. Good recovery really quite... after the start lap. Absolutely. Definitely the best recovery of the race. Underrated drive from Prev to finish the race in sixth. Yellow in sector two. So it looks like Deton's made a mistake in this Red Bull. Smiley takes seventh. Dunjo gets and eighth. Literally Tamino, Tamino on broke. the line. He just Tamino broke just on the line. Like he just broke on stream. That's very weird. But That's Flu weird, gets but... the last point ahead of and Andrew Fairley. Oh yeah, Hales just. is in twelfth. That was close, wasn't it? Oh, that's a frog. Getting a penalty. He's down in 14th. He did well to make it to the end. Joseph, Joseph Gales takes the that. fastest lap. So some solace to his uh, weekend. Deton comes round in 15th in the second Red Bull. And we're still waiting for Lonson to come round in the Aston Martin. Hard to say where he would have been. But... He made it to the end. Solid stuff. The Aston Martin comes through now. And that's a wrap for this Chinese Grand Prix. Another beautiful win for Ten Ten. His fifth win of the season and his fourth in a row. Just truly dominant stuff. It just seems like a common appearance nowadays. You see in Ten Ten on the top step. Yeah. And I'm sure it... Definitely will be the last time that we see it. Hmm. I was here in P2, and that is a very good time now um, for my last year. He's, he's been unlucky this season, and yeah, that's the last year that we know. Slated in P3, Mr. Wiggles in P4, that guy P5. Trev coming out in P6, very solid. Small Smiley in P7, John John P8, Tamina in P9, and Flu getting the last point just from AMS Andrew Fairley. And we had no DMFs. Which is what we like to see. We don't like to see anyone DNFing. That's, actually, only, I've only just realised that. Good yeah, spot. I only just noticed it. It's, it's good to see. It's really good to see. Lovely stuff. So, do you want to um, take driver of the day? Um, I will give it to... I'll give 10 10 a special mention like normal. I think I'm going to give it to that guy. After being last. First on, recovery drive. Uh, last, it, uh, uh, literally on the first corner. To being up in P5. I think that is a really, really good recovery drive. I think Wiggles probably gets a mention for his undercut strategy. That was pretty clever. Yeah, true. Well, I'm very glad uh, that's your job and not mine. <laughs> anyway. Thursday. China again. AT1. Make sure to join. And Sunday we also have China. It, next week in the assist, it is... Miami, and that is Sprint, which will be fun. Can 10, 10 go for 5 or no? We'll never know. Make sure you join us next week.
Thank you, Spark, for joining me. Oh, it's a pleasure, mate. Never a chore. That's the usual quirk. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, everyone in the stream, for joining. And I hope you have a lovely week.